Tomorrow marks the 10th anniversary of that EF5 tornado that hit Joplin, Missouri. More than 160 people died. More than 1,000 were injured. Wind speeds reaching above 200 miles an hour and the tornado tearing a path 13 miles long through town. Today, 5 News reporter Bailey Devane spoke with local first responders who remember seeing the destruction firsthand. Uh, the sirens are going off and what I remember so well was terror in her eyes. Dorinda Nicholson, a volunteer with the American Red Cross, was in Joplin the day after the tornado hit the town. The destruction, she says, was unbelievable. Cars up in the trees and just nothing. A talk about, about a war zone. The Rogers Fire Chief Tom Jenkins says his fire department, Springdale and Fayetteville first responders, also got there as soon as they could the next day, trying to help find people who were trapped underneath collapsed buildings. Most of our firefighters ended up working around the Home Depot, uh, collapsed in on itself, unfortunately trapping some people. And uh, but they, you know, they worked tirelessly. Nicholson says hundreds of volunteers flooded the town, setting up safe haven shelters. She says there were rows after rows of cots filled with families who had lost their homes. And there were people there grieving the loss of their family members, among everything else. Everyone had to say what had happened. This bookcase I laid on the bottom, that saved me. The bathroom I laid in the bathtub and I just pulled blankets over me. Everyone had a story. Volunteers were there for weeks after the storm cleared, giving away food, clothing, anything they could offer the families. Jenkins says after going through that experience, their department has a better idea of what to do if something like this happens again. So for such a sad and somber event, you know, it, it also is, uh, you know, it's important to note that we learned a lot uh, that Northwest Arkansas is better prepared. Covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. And that tornado was one of the deadliest in U.S. history. Today, the town still rebuilding homes and businesses that were lost.